Hi guys, this is Finley. Welcome to my LD UFC vlog. If you want reaction to any of the Legion Night games this season, you can check that out on my channel. Without further ado, let's get on with the Middlesbrough game. So today, we lost 3-0 to Middlesbrough. It was the worst performance slash result of the season. And that's really saying something, because there have been some bad performances this year. Um, it, all the problems start with the lineup. Wolf was ineligible to play, but we still made five changes to the lineup that beat MK Dons. Why make five changes to a winning team? One of them was Belushi in for Cooper. Now, Cooper didn't have a great year last year. He made a lot of mistakes. But this year, he's looked a lot better. He's been more solid. He still sometimes gets drawn out of position, but he's been a lot better. Belushi makes, makes so many mistakes. Hence the fact he scored an own goal. More on that later. The go All the goals today, though, were just poorly defended. First one, ball on the wing. Taylor, who's trying to defend, gets turned inside out. Ball in the box. Nugent, who has three men on him. He has Berardi, Belushi and Bamba all on him. But yet he has time to chest the ball down. A slight shout of handball, but play defenders still play on. And not one of them puts a challenge in. He has so much time. He has time to chest it down and have a control volley. He does smash into the ground. Silvestri maybe should do better. But three defenders on him. Three defenders. Belushi just falls over. I mean, I don't believe that three... Professional defenders can't stop one man, and you know, we didn't put any pressure on him, and it was an easy finish. The second goal was just the most ridiculous goal I've seen in a long time on any football match. Ball in the box. There is no Middlesbrough player in the box who can score. There's no Middlesbrough player in the box. Yet Belushi feels the need to head the ball in the back of his own net. Belushi feels the need to go towards the ball. He doesn't even have to challenge with the ball. There's no one on him. The ball is going straight to Sylvester. Sylvester should call for it, but Belushi should have the intelligence to know there's no one in the box. And then he manages to beat his keeper. Like, if you're trying to put it out for a corner, he's able to do that. It just hits his... It's a diving header. It's the most ridiculous score in ages. There's no one on him. He's under no pressure. There's no one in the box. Sylvester's about to make an easy catch. And Belushi just jumps in front of him and heads it in. Belushi should even be... should be able to put it out for a corner. I don't know how he hasn't managed to. He's managed to deflect into his own net. That's it's sort of a ridiculous goal. And then the third goal is just... It's a terrible goal. Bamba, um, this time making a mistake. Uh, Fabrini running through and Bamba just falls over his own feet on the edge of the box and that allows Fabrini to run through, take around the keeper and score. You know, Bamba just tripping up. And Bamba had an alright game. He was far, But it's still... Bamba... It's just annoying. It doesn't seem to go a game without one of our defenders making a mistake. And yeah, that cost us, and it was 3-0. Having said that, it could easily have been 2-1, which might have changed the game. Anthony actually scored a perfectly good goal. Referee gave it, everyone was cheering, and then, next thing you know, Fultz his linesman, and it's not given. Now, Antonucci is definitely not offside. So unless there's another reason why I wasn't given, I can't think of any other reasons why I wouldn't be given. So, it's, it's a poor decision, and at 2-1, back in the game. Um, but uh, do, the referee's decisions just don't shadow, just don't take anything away from the fact that Leeds were bad today. I think they play the ball backwards too much. They don't look for the forward passes. They don't play it forward. I'm not saying hoof the ball up the pitch. I'm saying short, quick passes and play the ball forward. Get it forward quickly. Three kicks. What do we do? Pass it backwards straight to Silvestri. Hoof the pitch. We lose possession. Play it forward more. And I think... I just think, you know, I know there are ways they're not going to play forward necessarily, but it's just playing it backwards, and I think it costs us. When you're chasing the game, get the ball forward quickly. And yeah, I've, <laughs> and it was just a bad day. Bad day for Leeds. That's all from me, but before I go, I just want to say, if you want to check out fellow YouTuber VobloxFan1095, um, you can. He's this epic gameplay on Roblox, and yeah, just check him out. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, um... As Roblox fan ten nine five. Now I am going. Please leave a like. Please leave a like and a comment below. Um, subscribe if you want more on Leeds United and um, prediction videos on future matches. But that's all for me. Bye.